Here, beside the road in U, you can see where the lava flowed. Nature continued its course until this volcanic mass accumulated soil and a staggering variety of vegetation and animal life unpolluted and undisturbed by human activity. Millions of years of rain weathered the volcanic rock, carving out valleys with sweet fresh water rivers flowing to the sea. As the heavy island settled into the sea bottom, a coral reef grew around it, fragile and beautiful. This became the home of many kinds of fish, eels, shellfish, and sea plants. On the coast, great mangrove forests developed, protecting their shore and providing a nursery for fish and crabs, a resting and breeding grounds for seabirds. These mangroves existed in a delicate balance between plant and animal life and the land. Any change could damage it. In the uplands, great rainforest developed. Seeds of new plants and trees came with birds from other islands. These seeds grew into vegetation that provided home for birds and other animals. The rainforest slowed down the speed of the water, letting it feed slowly into the rivers. What people would later call a watershed developed. A watershed is a region or area drained by a river or other body of water and that water is clean and pure. That watershed too was a unique environment in an easily disturbed balance of plants and animals. The plants and animals of Ponte lived together for millions of years when the first Micronesians arrived more than 2,000 years ago. They brought with them bananas, yams, taro, breadfruit, and sakao, and added to these islands' flora and fauna. Plant, animal, and human populations grew. A traditional culture developed in harmony with the environment.
the legendary cultural, geological, and biological histories of Pombe have some things in common. They all recognize the fact that Pombe is a unique island that was added to a little bit at a time. But if we are not careful, we will destroy it a little bit at a time. Magnificent Ponte, an island of rare beauty with a rich cultural past, an island with traditions based on the land, water, and sea, an island with a spirit dependent on their preservation and conservation. Residents and visitors alike see scenes of natural beauty and diversity. The waterfalls, rivers, mangroves, sea and forest provided places for relaxation and recreation. Also provided places where people make their living. The people in the past lived off what the land and reef would give them. They had stories and beliefs about how sacred and powerful the nature was and had customs to protect the land, forest, ocean, and animals. They were careful and took care of the island that gave them their living. Today, 
we seem to have forgotten a lot of these important practices and have adopted these new customs and new materials that are not always good. In the past, there was no plastic, no aluminum cans, and no rusty old pickup trucks to litter up the land. Everything people used before was safe and biodegradable. If an islander drank a coconut and then threw it onto the ground, it would eventually decay and become part of the soil. The land and people existed in harmony. We cannot do the same thing with cans, plastics, and bottles that will not decay for years, but it will remain an eyesore and a hazard and excrete poison chemicals into our environment. We need to learn how to use these new materials and not to destroy our resources. Our land, our water, our ocean, and the natural beauty of our island are all in danger. To help the Highlands economy, it is hoped to have more tourists come to Pompeii. Tourists who comes to Pompeii would not like to see our garbage. They would like to see our beautiful places. Nobody wants to see our garbage. ourselves and our children how to take care of the beauty of Pond Bay so that we can be happy here and for years and years to come. We also need to teach visitors to Pond Bay on how to care for the environment. Can we have development and still protect our environment? We need to learn to be careful where we make our roads. We need to not overfish. Let the fish have time to reproduce. We need to find ways to recycle cans, plastic, paper, and old vehicles. We need to learn to do as our ancestors did, to live in harmony with the environment. Thank mm -hmm. you.